Uh, oops. Thought maybe it'd be in here. Nope. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. Does that mean somebody else borrowed the stamp? Hmm. Could go to the post office. Somehow I doubt it'd be there. Alright, I wanted to find out... Is it just two bells? Is that what they're called? Two bells? Because there was a quantity there on the right side. So let's try two bells. Two bells. No, it doesn't work regardless because I don't think I have the stamp yet. The hell's the stamp? This wasn't the stamp book, was it? Did I move it? That would kind of suck, because then I have no idea where it is. Shit. I might have to come back to this one. Damn it. How come you're not leaving footprints in the snow? Mostly because this is sand. Okay, um, I wanted to see if I can get... Into here. Below here, I saw earlier, and I remember this very vividly because I couldn't get in there. Can I just jump over stuff? That would be so nice. Right there. Now that I have the, uh, this, can I? There's a stone in there. Can you jump over the rope? How do I get in here? I read that. Damn it. At least this no. Ugh. I can go out in the water, but that's not helping me. And I think if I went too far like I did last time, I just rip here back there. No? Okay. You probably should have rolled up your trousers. You'd think, but I'm a stoop, so I didn't. How do I get under there? <sighs> I don't get it. Is there something obvious here that I'm completely missing? really not be so hard to get into. There's invisible walls literally there to force me to not go in there. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna have to look for something else. I wonder how many fish they'll catch yesterday. Hey, wait, what? You're, you're, you're confusing your tents again. All the tents. Every of the tents. Have I not... Oh, this is the top of the post office. I haven't been in here. Tuesday's handover. Hi, Jan. All casing, all caching up has been complete and the books have been filled out. I have replaced some of the stock on the shop floor with our reserves and have ensured that outgoing mail is ready for delivery. The parcel situation, however, has not lessened. I know we hired Matthew as a temp to aid us, but I feel that the work is still not getting done. Even after that chat you had with him last week. I heard from Doris Farrell that he had been in the crow's nest every night this week chatting up Ellen, Elaine Gregson. A bit brave if you ask me. I heard she was a bit of a tough one. I'll see you when I'm home. Philip. Okay. Can I raise any further? All the way up. No, oh, no, no, no. It only goes up twice. Fair enough. One. Two. Anything on there? At least nothing I can reach. Alright, that should let me get behind the counter now. Which I couldn't get to before. There we go. Just nipped out. Philip, 
I've just nipped out, but shouldn't be too long. Can you please make sure that you keep an eye on the counter for me whilst I'm gone? Matthew is upstairs sorting through the parcel backlog that the bank holiday has caused. He told me it was taking him a lot longer to go through because of the weird and heavy equipment that Mr. Bell had been ordering from London. Apparently, the fellow had ordered a whole load of stuff relating to buoys and church bells. A trifle strange, if you ask me, but each to their own. Anyway, I will see you soon, Jan. Anything in the register? Nope. Hey! At this time in the evening, all but a few shops in the village were closed for the day. Andrew and his two very worried-looking brothers had made their way past all the other houses and were about to cross the village and head down to the dock. Only one thing stood in their way. Mr. Jefferson, the innkeeper. He was sweeping up for the night. The whole town knew how much pride he took in his work. He might be there for a while. It's no good. We'll have to go home, said Rob, glad the adventure was over. Rubbish, barked Andrew. Let's just wait. It's either that or we can go the long way round by the river. I can't be bothered with all that, Rob sighed. The knocker won't mind what time we get there, said Andrew. Rob frowned, feeling a bit silly that he was so taken in by the story, and had agreed to come in the first place. I guess every knocker we find is another story? So I'm going to make a knocker shelf. Oh, okay, I had another knocker. Didn't I? Yeah, right there. He eats your skin and leaves nothing but your bones, Andrew said with a sinister tone. Okay, so it replays it when you pick him up. At this time in the evening. Yep, okay. So I found two so far. I didn't know there was more. Uh, didn't I open this earlier? Did it close itself? Hmm. Don't talk so loud. You'll scare them off. Sorry? Oh, wait a minute. But I didn't complete the letter. I was literally just wandering around. When, when did I pick that up? Um... Interesting. Let's go complete that one, I guess. So what does the letter do? Am I not supposed to order the bells from there? Regardless, I haven't found a stamp, but... Hmm... I don't know... What else would there be to order in that household? I don't know. I honestly don't. I still have it, right? Okay. I mean, I guess if you could take things to your case while you should be able to grab them from, um, from uh, level to level. The boys used to make the fish talk. Yes, yes, Ugh. they used to make the fish talk. We know, we know. Perfectly normal. Oh. Every single invitation applied to, and with the same answer. Yes. Okay, so it's still on the ground, so I'm going to need to find a stamp somewhere. You know, I honestly didn't even look while I was at the post office. Maybe I should go do that. You know, like a normal person would. Uh, stamps. You guys got any stamps? Oh, crap. So if that big thing is a stamp book, then... Uh, I must have picked it up and put it down somewhere. Ugh. Mm, damn it. Yeah, right here. Ah, uh, where did I put it down? Could be anywhere. Did I put it in the case file? I doubt it. I wasn't really putting stuff in the case file back then. I got a stamp. An actual stamp. Damn it. Oh, 0427. Is this Bell's place? Ah, damn it. Yes, it is. 
All right, 0427. Remember that, everybody, remember that. 0427. The hell? Well, the first time I've heard a voice in the sound file like that, or not sound file, in the ambience. Ambi ambience. Wow, I can talk. Oh. Oh, let, let me have a go. Four. Um, four. Try four. Uh, you're actually right. Knocker! Andrew Help turned me. to Harry, his face looking very serious now. You'll have to go home, little man, he said, winking so that Rob couldn't see. Stamp. That's not stamp. fair. Why does he get to go and I don't, moaned Rob. Because he's too young to be out this late. Besides, we might be a while and he can help us sneak back in later. Right. Off you go, Andrew pushed, winking again and then whispering into Harry's ear. Just remember where we said. Okay, Andy, he said trustingly. And so off little Harry ran, leaving just the two of them. As soon as Mr. Jefferson was finished, both boys began to make their way down to the docks. So I think I have two more answering machines, by the way. That's not why I came up here. I've been looking for the stamp and decided I might as well do it while the story's being told. I don't know if there's very many other places I can put things down. But anyways, might as well put my knocker back. Everybody loves a good knocker. There we go. Back at it. Ooh, tumbler. Put that in the case file. Boop. I fixed the issue with placing, by the way. It was a uh, latency issue between my mouse and the game for some odd reason. Anyways, still looking for stamps. Damn stamps. Hmm, all I need to do is stand it up, because I think I got that. Wow, this is a flashlight. Um, ooh, I need a tumbler here. I actually have one left over right here. Ah, <sighs> but where would the code be? I didn't honestly think it'd be in there. Ooh, another tumbler. I, it would help if you pick up an item before you take off. But that's my fault. Boop. Hmm. Code, code. Who's got the code? It's on the bottom of the teacup? No. Maybe 1845? I highly doubt it. Time to look for the code. Oh, it's going to New Jersey. Okay. New Jersey. Up we go. Man, these things slow. How would it be formatted? The date, I don't know. It's in May. Day and date. Uh, actually, the barometer that I used. I don't even know if I spelled Jersey right. Wow. There. Th th that That's better. <laughs> Shut up. All right, date, the barometer here. Uh, the lowest would be the best time, right? I don't know, so would that be... I don't know what the best time would be. I don't know how to read this thing. So it'd be Tuesday 17th? Or the Friday the 20th? Uh, wait, what? Day and date, but the month is already May, so I don't understand. God damn it. 
I don't know, AI shutdown? 